bigotry ingrained in robotic brain. And should scientists be infuriated with the racist machine they created? It did. It. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, scientists at John Hopkins University experimented with a robot. <laughs> Sounds like my weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Telling it to put blocks with different human faces on them in a box. When the robot was told to put the criminal in the box, it would often cho choose the block with a black man's face. Sounds rigged. Meanwhile, white guys were picked less and deemed less criminal. Wow, who programmed this thing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't blame him. He made the hood into a jacket. <laughs> Other key findings? The robot identified women more as homemakers. So it wasn't all wrong. <laughs> a sexist would say. A sexist would say. Latino men were seen as janitors, and women of all ethnicities were less likely to be picked as men when the robot was told to pick the doctor. We tried reaching out to see what women doctors felt about this, but we couldn't find any. <laughs> a sexist would say. <laughs> yeah, a sexist would say that. It's disgusting. Says one researcher, we're at risk of creating a generation of racist and sexist robots. But people and organizations have decided it's okay to create these products without addressing the issues. So get this. We're at risk for racist, sexist robots, which is further proof that idiots are running out of stuff to deem racist and sexist. <laughs> now they have to create tests that implicate and trap inanimate objects. What's next? Is your toaster homophobic? <laughs> Did your Mr. Coffee once have a Me Too movement with a slightly drunk blender? <laughs> <laughs> but if robots can be racist and sexist just like humans, would we even be able to tell the difference? We went to a spokesperson for comment. Hello, meatbags. I'm here to answer any questions white men have regarding robots being sexist and racist. <laughs> I only ask that all women please leave, as I cannot listen to hour-long questions. Okay, you first. Yes, yes, Mr. Robo, isn't what you just said, in fact, sexist? Who is this broad speaking to me as if we are equals? Shouldn't you be at home making a sandwich for someone? Next question. Mr. Robo, that was actually pretty sexist, and isn't it also racist to only invite white men to this press conference? We are not racist. I go to NBA games all the time. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. To see the many great white coaches. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to make love with a sexy toaster I met in Aruba. The <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> do you do you think the robot is racist because he learned it from the scientists? I was gonna say that robot just like sounds like everyone on Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, okay, learned all these things from the internet. So if that's true, isn't there just like racism and sexism on the internet? Yeah. Like if you like, what places on the it was there wasn't the internet. They were only showing this robot Reddit. Yes comment sections. Right. That's all they were showing it. Because <laughs> you can get exposed to those things, obviously, anywhere. It doesn't have to be a robot. And I have very, I don't want a robot. I can't think of any reason I would want a robot. No? No. Oh, it'd be great to have you clean up after you. Oh, my husband does that. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> Jimmy, um, you know, the thing is, why make robots if they're just going to end up re being worse than humans. Yeah, I mean, first of all, this is so absurd that we're sending a robot to human resources. Yes, you know what I mean? exactly. We have, to your point, like we've jumped the shark on racism. You know, it's like we're so stupid. But then there might be people who like having a sexist robot around. Yes. Maybe they really miss working with Andrew Cuomo. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're like, if we could just, <laughs> uh, uh, we nice. could just bring one back. Yes. But no, we're over policing just the dumbest things now. And this is always, if you read further into the article, they said, well, more work is needed systemically and from a research standpoint, which means what? They're basically calling 
calling their own robot racist so they can get more money That's to it. fight the racism <laughs> they instilled in the robot. Exactly. These are arsonists that won an award for putting out a fire they started. This, this is a grift, a circular yeah. grift. It's mm -hmm. like that's why they 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 are they want to be the first people, Martha, to to uh, like diagnose racism in machines so then they get become the consultants that are hired. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, just, I can't get past, I find this terrifying, and I think robots are going to start packing homemakers into brown boxes, mm. because it's like they're dictating, put the doctor in the brown box, and <laughs> it's like these crazy robots running around <laughs> packing homemakers and doctors into boxes, yes. and you're going to have, like, you know, people going down the highway in FedEx trucks trying to get out. That's so I cannot get past this part of the experiment. That's an interesting thing. Oh, you're game worried about a kidnapping but no, but this I, is a, Well, these robots are being programmed to pack individuals you're into right. brown boxes you, you, and send them, please. You know, Mar what Martha, you were talking about what, uh, what they mentioned in the book, Superintelligence, is that a non-conscious thinking device can only follow orders. And if exactly. it, it follows it literally, it will actually put people in a box. Yes. And, not, and, and then if it's, it's, if its prerogative is to keep you in the box, it will. And I have a question for you because you said it reminded you of your weekend. So did you pack any homemakers into brown boxes? Yes, I did. <laughs> I want to know now. I forgot to poke holes in the box. That's <laughs> R.I.P., <scary>. homemakers. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> Last word, Andrew. Where it, what is your governor's stance on artificial intelligence and racist robots? I want a robot that can pack Anthony Fauci into a box and send him to a land very, very far <laughs> away. Fauci, um, yeah. No, I think this robot was caught watching far too much All in the Family rather than the Jeffersons, it sounds like. Mm, More hitting. How about we do this? How about we save lives and how about we abort the robots? They, how about uh, that? I don't know. I love robots. How about that? I love robots. And I think this is, a, this is just humans exploiting robots. And it makes me sick to my stomach. Anyway. I'm saying that because I know that the robots are coming. <laughs> I'm your guy. <laughs> I'm like that dude in Die Hard that wanted to be friends with a terrorist. What was his name? Oh, Ellis. Yeah. I'm the Ellis of artificial intelligence. <laughs> like, booby! I'm your guy. Remember that? They're going to kill you last. That's about They're seven gonna... minutes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.